I made yesterday my talk, and I know the audience is very mixed. There are Armenian colleagues from my age, they know the most of that, what I will speak about. There are young people, maybe they do not know so much your history and mathematics, but it will be useful. And then there are a lot of people from foreign countries, and for them it should be also interesting, I think. Twice I gave already a similar talk, but about one mathematician only. For today, I included some information about the uh, academy and my encounters with mathematicians, especially with Aparit Lipariti Shahinyan, my hero, our hero, my, so uh, my uh, colleague from the course is sitting here, uh, Haik Sukhiasyan, we were a good friend already a long time. You see, next year it will be 50 years that we finished our study. So I'm sorry, but. Uh, I will first uh, some, say something about myself because <laughs> you see that I <laughs> that I graded here five years. I was here soon. The last years I had to listen to poor uh, lessons in Armenian because it was just that who specialized in function theory. This was a smaller group. They had uh, all to listen in, in Armenian, so I learned Armenian not because of this. I learned it also to live here, to know how to, to do my way. But uh, you see in the first line, you see here what I'm every time thinking, and this is what my teacher, Shainyan, he said when he knew that I will start my work in Halle, in Germany, in the university where Georg Kantor was uh, working. It was, uh, he said to me, you will cross, close the line, the, the, the circle, line, sorry, the circle. Because in 1910, an Armenian was studying in Halle. I was studying here in Yerevan and came back to Halle in 1974. So it is remarkable, I think, for me, myself, of course, that I met the traces of this Armenian mathematician in the archives, in the Bar library of Halle, and this is what I showed everybody. I'm happy and a historian can only work on primary sources, so documents which prove everything what he should know. And uh, as I told you, I gave this talk in, in London on the day birthday of my father, uh, but he, more than 100 years, he is already not with me, but uh, it was a nice moment. So the, theme, the aim was to speak about Ashak Punyan. He studied in Halle. He was, because the war started in 14, the First World War, he was interned, but because you see, he had glasses, he could not see well. He, it was allowed to come back to Russia. He was a Russian citizen and repatriated and then reintegrated in the university. He was first teacher still some time when he came uh, uh, back uh, in uh, Tiflis and in school, uh, school, school teacher. Then <coughs> he uh, was uh, asked for join the new builded university. In 19 started the university to work and about this told me, and it was really on the last occasion when I was together with him, he said, Helmut, you go now to Halle, do you know that you are closing the circle? And I was very happy and never forgot. It took a long time that I started more intensively to speak about, but it was impressive. You can understand this, I think. And what happens in 42, he died as victim of the repression after denunciation as a German spy. It was very easy to say. You were in Germany, you truly are a German spy. This Shainan told me this was the reason that he was returned. So Armenia is a very small country, you know, and the population is small. But uh, yeah, I think you and this, you see, it's Mother Armenia. This is David Sasunsky on the, on the railway station. This is Erebuni, the origin, the, the place of Yerevan. Erebuni, Yerevan, you know, it's 2,800 years and uh, more. And this is a, a monument on the side. And on this place stands Stalin. Now you understand a lot of reasons. But for me, 
it came, very big moment some years ago, I read in this book from China to Paris, the name of Anania Shirakatsi. And it was stressed that he had developed some tables for his school when he came back from uh, Byzantz, from Trapezunt. He studied there with a Greek teacher, that he developed his own table for addition with the letter of this very strange alphabet. Strange, but very nice, but I had to learn it, you know. The third alphabet I had to learn to be able to speak and to read after Russian. <laughs> uh, so, and this is the figure who was already on the Madonna Rara, saw this figure, and here in the beginning, uh, something about him, because uh, everybody uh, understands that Shehakisi was the beginning of sciences in Armenia, in the seventh century, much earlier than in Europe, in Western Europe, you know. We are telling in history that around the 12th century only, uh, with the Italians started the history of modern Renaissance or Europe and Western European mathematics. So, and he was a cosmograph, he is also known, and this is very important, is known in other countries. This is an American, uh, in, in 1968, there was published in English an article, you can really look for this, you find it, it's very interesting, very complete also. And in Germany, because the Deutsche Morgenländische Gesellschaft, the Oriental Society, um, is sitting in Halle. So one reason more to have some relationship. <laughs> and uh, in German, and now it's a big surprise. Yesterday I told somebody, I will show you very important thing. In 2006, Donald Knut, everybody knows him, this mathematician. He was on the knees, you see, in front of Mesrub Stotz, because they had the same spirit to invent the new alphabet, you see. And you find it on his homepage. I was not near, I did not know when I came here about still. <laughs> So, but this is, you should remember, when you were to, on the Matanadaran, you were where Donald Knut came along, he was invited to the academy, I read later. He mentioned this even, but this was the reason. Two inventors of new alphabets came together, and he was on the knee. You understand this? <laughs> so, sorry, the alphabet has nothing to do with the Georgian alphabet, right? They no, much... but the inventor is the same. Only the Georgian alphabet is round. <laughs> And the Armenian is rectangular, so <laughs> that's a different. But it was also Mesopotamia. Imagine. So, and uh, you listen already to the name of Victor Hamad Sumyan in the beginning. He was president of the academy for a long time. He is considered as uh, one of the top astronomers of the 20th century, really, because his contribution and uh, his ideas were very dominating. He was president of the International Astronomy. Of society, it's amazingly uh, uh, his contribution, and he stands in the on the shoulder of Shirakasi and something. No, we say that you know the name uh, uh, Newton said, uh, I, I was standing on the shoulder of giant, giants. And okay, Narakasi is maybe not uh, the giant, uh, but for, for me, it's very important. And Victor Hamad Sumyan, with his contribution, made his, his work. Yeah, now I'm speak about the academy. I showed you already the contribution of Hamad Sumyan. And uh, the academy was not the first institution uh, after the First World War. It was a university. They started in Gyumri, the former Lenina Khan. And Shainyan, I mentioned already, came from there. He was there born. And then in 21, this building is still here, you see. The I'm sorry if I, in some details, are not 100% right. I took some information from books, but also there are some, sometimes difference in the months or, yeah, and about for the founding of the university was a struggle. Yeah, and uh, in which day and so, you know, it's, in history, you should be very careful. That's why I mentioned this. I, I wanted to say very exact, but in the talk, I cannot explain all the difficulty, but I'm almost sure. You say here yeah, you have a day of founding, May 16, but I know there were discussions. What, what should count as a beginning later when it started in Yerevan? Or, so it's uh, not, not so easy to make, uh, to work in history. It looks sometimes easier. So here's some numbers from 2019. It was the 100 years of university. The building I was here, 
sitting in the library upstairs sometimes. And uh, these are numbers from 2019, so big academic stuff. Uh, and uh, mathematics, I have to show. The Mehmat, you see. There was a short time it was divided, but now it's again together. And there's mechanics. Now um, we have this bachelor programs. We have a lot of master programs. And uh, uh, it's really nice to come there and to see where you were a student, where you were sitting, and uh, also to learn again what happens. I was there as a teacher of Erasmus. You know, there's a European uh, for one week. I teach there. So, and uh, about the academy, this was the next uh, big institution in, in Armenia. This was founded at 10th of November, uh, 30, 43. That's why we are, wait, are waiting the, the 80th <laughs> uh, anniversary, yeah? And first it was the Armenian branch of the Soviet Academy of Sciences, no? which was founded only uh, eight years later, uh, eight, earlier. And uh, who was uh, very active in this? And the first director was this first academics, uh, academician of Armenia, Atashis Shinyan, uh, a student of Arshak Tunyan, the man I showed in the beginning. And uh, it's, the institute is, I wrote here, known for its results in complex analysis because I studied functional theory, complex functional theory. But there are a lot, I will also mention other names of course, with a lot of merits. And the director, the actual director, is a student from Ruben Hambatsumya. Yes, I'm right. It's the son of Victor Hambatsumya. So that's uh, uh, clear that here you are also in other field working. But uh, it's, uh, for me at that time, I did not know other people. So you understand. You should think that I am speaking about 50 years ago when I was here. So the institute, I made the photos uh, for the 2018, and it became, I made it wrong, it became um, in, uh, yeah, in 44, this was uh, the institute and uh, the newly formed Armenian Academy. And here, finally, I can show you Shainan, the views in the entry of the university. It was 10 years ago when I saw it, and I'm very happy, of course. And he is sitting, and this photo you find in the, uh, uh, it's not here, in the, uh, uh, in the section, uh, in the mathematical part. A very famous photograph. And I had the, la uh, uh, I was lucky. I uh, was in 1988 an assistant still in Halle, and Magellan made the first talk in a conference which was organized in complex analysis. Jebashan was my teacher. So all the three I knew personally. And now, when I came in 17 to teach, uh, there I found a special auditorium. It's named after Shainyan. And uh, it was a pleasure to see that now also the condition uh, became better. and. If you look for some facts about time of uh, PhD and uh, all the things, you can go to this well-known mathematics genealogy project. And there you see, as a student of Smirnov, appears here at the chess, shiny eye. And uh, yeah, it was in, in 45, uh, he was a student here. You see, it was about work of Keldish, of long time president of, uh, you can correct me if something is wrong, but he told me about that he was working. And I know the uh, paper. And he is here appearing with uh, uh, Jabashian and uh, Melikian, Sergei Mergelian. Here is Jabashian, Mergelian as a young guy. And Mergelian got the, the Doctor of Science degree for his P candidates, uh, for his PhD thesis. So it was such important work in approximation of complex function, rational approximation of complex function, that it became very famous. Theorem of Merillian was the subject of one semester, I listened here, one semester about Merillian's theorem. And in, in all books about uh, approximation in the complex field, you find Merillian, Araklian, a student here as mentioned, uh, as uh, 
working in this field. And I have, was also lucky in 18, uh, five years ago to be here and participating in the conference in honor of 100 years of Chabashia. But about them, I will still say more. Before I mentioned here the name of three invited speakers in International Congress of Mathematics, and Nora Akelian in 17. Just I was here one year and I listened. Oh, Arakelian is invited to speak in Nice about the Nevalenna conjecture. Nevalenna in his book about uh, 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 Univalent yeah, uh, univalent. univalent function. Oh, I'm sorry. Univalent function of 41 is a book. There is a conjecture about the order of the function to be uh, approximated. Nora uh, uh, proved this uh, possibility, and uh, four years later, Chebashian and Ruben Amatsumian, I mentioned already, working in stochastic geometry. Uh, were also invited speaker. I think for, I showed you, a very small country, uh, very few people working with such uh, recognition of the work. I feel that this is a very special thing. Then uh, you see, uh, the, in the early years, it was function theory because of Shainian. Then it extended to differential and integral equation, functional analysis, probability theory, and mathematical statistics. Yeah, of course, uh, I know other people, but as I told you in the beginning, uh, I know personally Talalian, Alexandrian give classes in uh, topology. And so I know a lot of people I could mention as contributor to the development of the academy and of the university, but it's not possible in such a short time. So something about a surprising fact, and I'm also very happy that in Avero, in my department, and without my influence. It came by chance. People were formed and they were working in in inverse problems, but with methods also in hypercomplex analysis. This was a subject I yesterday already told. It was published in the German Zeitschrift on Physics by Hamba Sumian and for 60, 70 years not well considered. And then started the big wave of considering inverse problems. Vladislav is here, you know this well. It, the idea came from, and then a lot of Finnish mathematicians were working, and you invited them to Querétaro. <laughs> I meet the, some of these people. It was very nice. So, and then also, this is now still in vogue. You know the fractional calculus is still very actual. Uh, that Chebashian made also his contribution, and very early. This I told my my colleagues, when I saw that they were using it and did not understand what is this is for, for a name, Mirkitic, Mirkiticevich Chebashian. <laughs> and I explained, I listened lessons, the lessons to him. I have the book in Russian, finally, it helps me to study with him, about integral transform. And I, I met uh, from, from Minsk, Yakubovich. He said, you have this book? This is my Bible. He is working in integral transform. So you can understand my proudness, what I feel. And, uh, of course, Merglian had also a famous, a famous uh, pupil, disciple. disciple. Who was in Moscow. He was in Moscow, yeah, because of his yeah, success, he became even yeah. uh, vice president. No? He was uh, for some times, but then he came ill also, and he come ba came back yeah, yeah, to the you academy. Small because in my talk I was mentioning that and he said he was student of Merglian. Yes, you'll see, you'll yeah. see, yeah, 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 and. Uh, when he came to Halle in 88, he was already ill, but I was going with him because I could speak Russian and it was a nice encounter with him personally also. And what is important, Gonsha uh, were working a long time, uh, a lot of time with a Spanish group, Paco Marcelian, and all the students in orthogonal polynomials. We have also in our department a student of Paco Marcelian. Uh, specialist in orthogonal polynomials. He was working together with Goncha and Abdi Karev I met in September. So I have also this relationship with people very close to Yerevan and to Armenia. And uh, here I come, uh, I'm sorry, I, I would not to skip, uh, of course, the role of Tonyan because he stands in the beginning. Ne? 
So some words, I will skip a lot of things, but some words about him I will tell you. Because I was going to the archive of the university in Halle, and I saw this inscription, matricula. Yeah? Because, you know, Germans are very famous for order and... <laughs> so, <laughs> and it's really, now some years already I'm asking for documents from Italy, from France, from Spain, to have primary sources, and it's sometimes difficult. Even the Academy in Lisbon is also a mess. If you go there, you cannot find what you want. <laughs> but this is very nice. I was then personally there several times, and I got this inscription. You see, Tony Jans, he that time was still using this Tony Jans, like our Alexei Karapin Jans. This has some reason. Uh, I have been told it has to do with noble families or something, maybe. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. His father was Joseph, a profession uh, Landwirt, you see, it's a German here, and agriculture, he was working. And you see here a very special. So that picture, top right corner, was taken in 1918. No, nine, <laughs> nah, no, 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 no. This is the birth year of his daughter. I met Maria Shakovna. Tonian, personally. It, it was Aram, Khachet, Aram Shainian who helped me when I came first and was invited by it. So, and uh, yes, this is the generation. Uh, ne? And she told me, she, she remembered well, that uh, when she was small, as playing in the, down on, in the, on, the, on the desk, uh, her father was speaking with Shain Yan, the young student, about mathematics. She said, yeah, a very special uh, uh, woman. She told also a little about the personal life, but it's not here. So who was in, in the time when uh, Tony Yan was in Halle, a famous mathematician there? Of course, uh, Cantor was still alive, but as I found there in the inscription, now, like today, people heard to sign which le lessons they were giving, and there, it's only written, uh, Cantor will assign later. So I'm not sure, and Tony Jan did not mention that he listened to Cantor, but the follower of Cantor. He was a student of him, even. Van Gerien were, and uh, Van Gerien was a specialist in potential theory. He was the president of the Academy of Leopoldina in Halle. And this was, Gutzmer came to Halle also, and this was the supervisor of Tony Jan, of his PhD. And what uh, uh, was, Gutzner became famous also. He was doing a lot of teaching and uh, substituting Felix Klein in the Instruction Commission of uh, Mathematics Education. Uh, he wrote also the Jahresbericht, the first, and was editor of the Jahresbericht der DMV, Deutsche Mathematik, this is a uh, union of German mathematicians. Uh, and they gave every year, and you can read every year a report about the work. He was, for so long time, he was the editor of this. And he became, from the function theory side, he became very famous that he included in the book of, uh, yeah, Gutzmer is here written, you see, uh, from Vivanti, yeah, from the Italian mathematician. He included measures in, uh, uh, no, measure theory, measure theory parts in, in function theoretic treatment of Vivanti in this book. And um, yeah, so I said already that he was a successor also of Felix Klein, first president of the German Commission for Mathematical and Scientific Instruction. I read some reports of him, very intensive. They were analyzing how now it, everything is doing, you know, what are the, is the success, success of teaching mathematics and to engineers and so. And then uh, in 1908 in Rome, uh, the International Commission of Mathematical Instruction was founded, the ICMI. Uh, Klein was one of the men also uh, very important. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, he wrote this book, uh, Mathematics from the Higher Point of View, the two books. He was this teaching to students in Göttingen. So he was very involved in teaching mathematics to students. And here is a photo from the first time in 21, when the group of active scientists were starting to work in the university and here. And uh, they were 
how to say they were invited because the country did not have specialists. Very different to other uh, places, you know, after the First World War. And they came, I know also that Kok Jans, known for the work with Tamarkin and Besikovic, he came and was a member of the organizing of the founding commission. But after one year he left because he was from France and he left to France. Again, then working with Tamarkin, he came to America and uh, Besikovic, you know, was also a collaborator of Tamarkin. And uh, this is Koch Betelgans, a colleague from France, son of a family of immigration from Russia in the 20s, the son. He worked about the life of Kompelians, there exist articles about. So another way to speak about Armenian mathematician of this hard, dark time and uh, hard time. But uh, Kompelians went away, Tonian stayed here. This is for me a big difference. Kompelians, yeah. And here's only, I will show only a few documents and then I skip everything. Here's his request, very well written in German. Uh, here is the uh, approved, uh, Gutzma approved, it was the Khan that time. Then he mentioned all the uh, professor who gave uh, lesson to him. So you see this is the German order, there's a process, beginning and end of all what happens to do with, uh, with uh, Ashak Tunyans. And what happens here, you see, he uh, asked for, for accepting this uh, PhD. Proof, proof, uh, proof, no? uh, proof. In June 26, and now attention, he gave up. Uh, Wangerin was the dean, he accepted and asked for a written report. The, he was admitted and he had to pass the rigorosum. Here also, uh, aspirant has to make the <laughs> admission. <laughs> this was there done, and I have even, I cannot show it, I have even the question they were given to him and how he answered it was also about philosophy and such things of Kant. Very, very interesting. If you read it, uh, you can uh, understand what happens. And uh, here the next document is from 1924, because when this war started, two months after his admission, he could not finish the process. It was over. He had to wait until 24, 10 years. Then he asked again, and in 25, he got uh, the admission because he had to present the uh, thesis in, uh, in pr printed form. This was important. Only then he could be accepted, and here is the certificate. And uh, with magna cum laude, high degree, you see, doctorarum naturalium, this is here, the document. So, and uh, this is the finally printed <laughs> dissertation. Yeah, uh, about uh, about some uh, uh, super uh, uh, superfaces of the one uh, face hyperboloid, so something uh, differential ge geometry. So, but then his work was teaching, administrating as chair and dean, writing and translating textbooks, also from Russian, into Armenian, because you must understand people learned Russian, but they had also to know the term, mathematical terms, in their own language. Yeah? And this did not exist. This is the easiest word. It, it, this math exists also now. For example, I'm not very, very well uh, used to German expression in, in computation. They call it uh, not file, they call it uh, Verzeichnis. So I have also to learn the German, and then I'm writing on computers in Portuguese language. So every Nature language is not even directly using English for computation. You need it, but every for teaching young people, they should know also in their own language. So, and uh, what uh, he did, and uh, posthumously only his son, Wahan Ashakovich, uh, uh, published, and the chief editor was Shainya, a dictionary of mathematical terms in English, Russian, Armenian, German, and French. Five languages. And here is a page, and luck luckily I have it, and I found it when I came to Halle, and two exemplars were even there, and they were useful for me sometimes. And uh, of course, one did not forget here, in 67 there was written an article by uh, uh, Sakhatalian, uh, 
But this article ended, I cannot show you, but it's ended with the year 33. And after then, people did not know. So the information of the daughter of him was very important for me. What happens, she could. She showed me even this process in the, in the newsletter from 97, where all uh, scientists from the uh, uh, State University were mentioned and all the process, what happens with them, and also Tonya here was one of them. It was a big process. She, she informed me. Uh, she gave me this newsletter. I have it. This is a copy from it. And to finish with uh, Shen Yan, you see him as an active participant in developing sciences and helping. Uh, also in public uh, speeches and publications, he was involved. He told us, and what is he written? He was a man very cult, uh, cult. Uh, I do not know. You understand what I mean? He knows a lot of poetry, history, and arts, uh, and he uh, chatted with us. I remember uh, Sunday we were going. He invited us. We were going to the mountains. Okolo Dilijan, near to Dilijan, we, we stopped, we bought bread, we bought jam, and then we were eating on the, uh, <laughs> and we were speaking, he was explaining his life, and asking what happens and how to help. Uh, so this was our encounter. But of course, this is one of the uh, pictures uh, with his family and Sobolev. And this is with Bekwa and Mergelian under the tree. And I have to say, if you want to know more, go to the page of the Academy. This pictures I took from there. There was a big article, but in Armenian, not translated. So, uh, but I can read Armenian, and so I know. It. Yeah. And uh, when I was here in 1916, I was going to the Pantheon, to a cemetery here outside, near to the railway station. If you go there, I made this photo of his grave, and uh, yes, I. Say goodbye. This is all what I wanted to say. Thank you very much. We thank Professor Manola Malonek for his enthusiasm speaking about the academy and also for his warm uh, overview of the academy. But before question, before question, I ask for a huge applause for the people of the Institute of the Academy, Armenian Academy of Science. <laughs> there are some questions or comments? Please. I think some comments. Uh, I'm happy that they have good opportunities for the yes. Those who work in spherical harmonics, of course, not, uh, know the, this name. But my strong, very strong feeling that his work is underestimated. Of course, by the Of course. Yes, 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 yes. Sure. And to me, the main reason is that those people don't know the state of affairs in usual trigonometric case and cannot compare uh, his, <coughs> to understand his uh, achievements. Mm -hmm. Uh, one more name I would like to mention, one more Armenian uh, name, <laughs> just my feeling that uh, I, I won't have a ch better chance and better audience than to mention. I mean uh, Garabidyan. Yes. Alexei used to say that uh, all people around me become infected with uh, house door operator business. And uh, Becoming such and writing some paper, they refer mainly as a starting point to the monograph of Hardy. But looking attentively in Hardy's comments, there is an honest reference to the work of Rogozinsky and Garbidan. And 
Of course, it was independent, but formally, the publication by Garabedian was a little bit uh, earlier. Mm. So he can be considered uh, the father of, uh, I would say, continuous uh, house of operators. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. No question. Just here. Thank you very much for your report. I have discovered some facts from the report. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.